sometimes I receive questions, you know, just a regular question um, on things which I think you don't find interesting, but then I receive those questions, so apparently it is interesting to some of you. And that was that, what do I do on an island for months? Or like, what do I do in one day? Every day looks very different. Sometimes I don't do anything and I don't even leave my house. Sometimes it is more about meeting friends. Sometimes it is more about parties, birthday parties, barbecues. So summer here is amazing and there are so many things happening all the time, every weekend, on different parts of the island. I really got into swimming um, this summer. Also the ocean is really hot, like they were talking about it, that it has like 24, 25 degrees, which is, uh, which is a lot for the fact that uh, it's, uh, it's here and it's the Atlantic and what we are going to do today is now it's morning I usually come to the beach here in uh, near Villa Franca let me show you yeah this one it is good for swimming because it's a little bay so the waves are not too big usually and also there is a small bar so that's where I usually get coffee like every morning. Also the coffee shop has a very nice view, you know, it's right uh, near the ocean. So yes, the plan is now that we go take coffee after we go for a swim and then I go directly to Ponta Delgada because I started taking boxing classes again. I did it like three years ago when I was here on a study abroad program and um, yeah i would like to get back to it so we have that and in the afternoon we have a barbecue with some uh, friends <laughs> show you what I found in my window while I was uh, on the beach. It's super nice because my neighbor always brings over some bananas and uh, pineapple and yeah, you know fruits. Also I know I said I was gonna go to a boxing class after the beach but I was really not feeling it today. So the thing is that last night I got home a little late. This summer I feel like I'm 15 again, you know, like all I do is I go out with friends and parties and festivals and all this uh, stuff, but it's fun. By the way, the other day I was putting these uh, cups on the internet because I was trying to make a cute picture, you know, and I received so many messages on where are these cups from. I have them in two colors, this one, like the blue one, and then I have like white ones like this and I have them from Sintra from mainland Portugal there is like a really cool shop in uh, in Sintra where I always shop and the other day I also got stuff for for my family let me show you so I got this stuff for my parents and my father because we have a vineyard back at home in Slovakia this is the shop and every time I go there I just buy stuff there because I think it's so beautiful and they had this like cute uh, collection of uh, like plates and and everything like vineyard connected also my parents were here so they already took some of the stuff home then the last time I went to Sintra I went to the shop again and I got some more stuff I didn't even open it yet. We also have hunters in the family. I don't know, for some reason I, I really like it. Then I got a few cups with... Uh, I think each one of them is with like a different animal. This is with a deer and there is one with a fox, with a rabbit. But I feel like in general in Portugal they have so cute stuff. Also. 
this thing I'm eating from, it's from a soup festival from one of the villages um, near here, Villa Franca and uh, it's from 2023 so it's not from this year but uh, yeah look at it it's so cute about the barbecue there are so many really cool places all over the island where you can just stop and do barbecues and you can use these pots for free basically and in a lot of them you have running water and bathrooms and they just take really good care of it like you know sometimes the gardeners come and they cut the grass yeah, it's not only tourists who use them a lot, but also people from here. A lot of times you just see whenever, you know, it's a Wednesday afternoon and people are making like huge barbecues and they are celebrating birthday parties over there. So they come and they decorate like the spot. You know what I like is that they know how to live life and it won't stop them that it's Wednesday just because they have to go to work tomorrow. In Slovakia you never see such things, nobody really goes out during the week. I have this pineapple from my neighbor. Yeah. 